What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. Today we're here to talk about KSI and Logan Paul. Big shout out to The Independent and shout out to Adam Habdani. So KSI says he expected more from Logan Paul um, in his workout and he looked tired after about five minutes. KSI said he expected more from Logan Paul's open workout with the media which took place earlier this week. The 24-year-old who is set to face KSI in a rematch of their amateur fight from last year, which was a draw, after fighting in front of 18,000 people at a sold-out Manchester arena, the pair took their time to organise a rematch and now face off in the professional ranks for the first time. So professional means that basically there's going to be no head guards, 10-ounce gloves, and somebody essentially should be getting knocked out. So Logan Paul took part in a training session alongside his coach, Shannon the Cannon Briggs, a.k.a. Let's Go Champ, with his younger brother, Jake Paul, and media from all corners watching all over. Clips of the workout were uploaded across the standard social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. And while many complimented Paul for the, for the physical condition he managed to find himself in, his up-and-coming opponent wasn't too impressed. But he's going to be, he's not going to say anything good about Logan Paul. And in the quote, KSI has said, it was pretty standard. I probably expected more from him. He was skipping for about five to 10 minutes and he just looked knackered. The jabs were weak. His hands positions were all over the place. There's a lot to decipher from that compared to mine. He's finished. He's looked really good, big, bulky and heavy. I'm sure that's going to do well for him over six rounds. KSI and Logan Paul fight is set to happen in the Staples Center in LA in California on the 9th of November. So I think, in all honesty, um, I've kind of worked Logan Paul out a bit more. Sometimes he puts things up on the internet for it to be misleading. So he could essentially be like not doing his best just to kind of fool KSI and the rest of the public into believing that, you know, He's not really putting in any effort in. JJ is going to say negative things about Logan Paul, of course. If you're going to have a boxing match with someone and you're going to have a rematch and you know all the tension that these two have and the animosity that these two have between each other, he's not going to say anything good. But let me know, who do you think is going to win? KSI, or do you think it's going to be Logan Paul? Let me know, are you going to be watching this boxing match when it happens in November of next month? And are you actually one of the lucky people that are going to see this for yourself? It's going to be happening in the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California on the 9th of November next month, 2019. Thank you for watching. I've been GMG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on them post notifications if you haven't done already. Like this video if you think it deserves a like and share it with your friends. If you want other people to see this, you can leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll catch up with you guys very, very soon. I am obviously Team KSI. Let me know in the comment section down below who you are going to be supporting.